What are those? <laughs> That was funny from you. Boom. Jeez, look at that top chest popping. Jeez, what is going on? Two weeks out, part two. First things first is it's time to weigh and see what progress we made this week. So let's have a look. There you see then, so 15, 6, yeah. Still only two pounds, but this is exactly what I was saying. Like, you can't go by weight. It's down to body composition and what you see in the mirror because that's two weeks and I've only dropped three pounds. But if you've been following the videos or follow me on Insta or whatever, you'll see the, the difference in my conditioning and my body composition. And that's why you can't just go by weight. It, you're not even competing just in general if you're dieting, trying to lose weight, trying to lose fat and you are doing like weight training, resistance training. You're gonna be building muscle, all different kind of variables. So you can't just go by what the scale says. But like I said, I still use it as a gauge just to make sure I'm on the right track. But I do feel a lot bigger. Don't know, tell me what you think, let me know below. But yeah, anyway, now it's time for breakfast. I've been dying for my refeed all week, full of carbs, and then we're gonna go hit legs. There we go. See what I mean? But we've only dropped three pounds. That's how it goes. Breakfast time. Then, oops. Some reflex away. Vanilla ice cream flavor. Some raisins. And we're gonna throw a few cashew nuts in there as well. Obviously I prefer oats with milk, it's much nicer, but I've been staying away from milk and dairy because it, um, one, it's extra calories and not that it matters today too much, but it makes you hold water as well. So I stick to water for my oats, but because the vanilla ice cream way is sweet um, and it just tastes fire, it sort of makes up for the lack of milk and still makes it taste nice. So you know, you can't tell me that don't look fire. Just catching up on the UFC last night. Man like Michael Bisping winning the title. My boy Tom Breeze was actually fighting on the card. Um, unfortunately, didn't get the decision. Put a one on him as well to win by knockout or submission. But I'm not a betting man, but that's how confident I am in how sick he is. I trained with him before when he used to do MMA. He's fucking sick. But unfortunately, obviously, UFC is the top level, isn't it? And he didn't get the decision that time. So it is what it is. But Bisping has done the business. You know what I mean? So I'm gonna be nice and fueled, ready to smash legs later. And trust me, like I told you yesterday, Mark goes in, so it's gonna be a big session. Finish this, and then we're gonna hit legs. So we'll see you on the way to the gym. What are those? <laughs> <laughs> that was funny from you. Nine o'clock, Sunday morning. Um, we're not actually starting till half nine, but we just got to Emporium. Obviously the sliders are on, I'm protecting the feet, you gotta look after your feet, isn't it? Got my converse in the bag, you already know, leg there essentials are converse. So uh, yeah, I'm gonna go in, probably have a pre-workout, chat a little bit of shit and then we're gonna get it. So. Yeah. 
ません。
seconds, four times in 20 reps. Every five, you hold them up for five seconds. If he doesn't, five gets added on each time. Yep, let's go. And one. Go past the knee. Two. Absolutely roll tough from that leg session. If you don't leave a leg session walking like this, your t-shirt soaked, then you ain't got in properly. But yeah, shout out Mark. As you saw, I told you he's tapped, he's got a fucking broken foot. He's in an inflatable boot, but he takes it off to train. But intensity levels go through the roof when he trains, and he proper knows how to get deep into the muscle. So sick leg session. I've got one more left before I knock it on the head for the show. That'll probably be more hamstring. But well, yeah, I'm gonna about to drop Katie off and then go home and get on my refeed, get some carbs in. So I'll see you back at the house. Yeah, so um, I'm just on my Snapchat. Add my Snapchat, by the way, Scott underscore Swench. Um, but yeah, hold tight, Nate Clark just messaged me saying I just watched part one of Two Weeks Out, which I just uploaded. This, yeah, just watched part one of Two Weeks Out. Now I'm waiting for part two, like how long, bro? So, um, for might as well shout you out in the video. It's not seen as though you watch the videos. But yeah, this is gonna be confusing, but obviously, I'm filming today for part two, so by the time you see this, you'll understand what I mean. But yeah, I'll type Nate Clark. Add me up on Snapchat, I stay active on it all the time. So in between videos, you can keep up today with what I'm doing. So yeah. Bam, back home, showered up and that. Oi, that session was serious, serious. So luckily, I've got the rest of the day to chill. I've got cardio to hit later, but other than that, I'm chilling. Refeed, so I'm getting my food in now. Cause it's my refeed day, like I said, I'm aiming to get about five, 600 grams of carbs in. So what I do, because it changes, I, I don't, I'll cook my food myself on a refeed day. Um, instead of getting my Pro Gains meals, and then I'll get my Pro Gains meals for the week. Later on today, they'll deliver that to me. So the simple and easiest way to do it is, I just do strictly turkey mince, and sweet potato. So there's a kilogram of turkey mince. And then I've got, oh, fuck, you know, we've got a load of sweet potato. There's two kilograms of sweet potato. I've got to cook that there. And literally, that's four meals worth. So 250 grams of turkey and then 500 grams of sweet potato in each. So two kilograms of sweet potato, it's about 400 grams of carbs. And then I've had 100 gram of oats this morning, which is 40, 50 grams of carbs. And then um, what I'm doing, I'll save that last bit. We're gonna go Nando's later. Um, still, I'll only have sweet potato wedges, maybe two portions, and um, half a chicken or a uh, butterfly breast, probably. Um, and then that's my carbs hit for the day. You don't always need a refeed. The best, the best advice I can give you is especially for competitions, yeah, people get caught up in the whole having a cheat meal, cheat day, blah, blah, blah. You definitely don't need it. You really have to learn to listen to your body and then incorporate it when needed because a, a full cheat day is just gonna set you back a few days. It's not gonna do anything, it's not gonna benefit you other than mentally, like if you've been dieting a long time. What I found is when I switched to um, the refeeds, especially coming up to a show, 
you get the same benefits of you know being able to eat a lot feeling full the carbs having the energy but it's all clean so you don't get that sluggish feeling you don't feel horrible because you've eaten a load of shit and all that kind of stuff and like i said it doesn't work for everyone some people just need to diet all the way through and get shredded and it is what it is but it's just this works for me it's worked the last two times so obviously if it works why why cut it out but um yeah, this would be my, like I said, I've dieted through for the last three weeks now with no refeed, no cheat day. I'm gonna have all these carbs today. So that will replenish all my glycogen stores, have good energy for the rest of the week. And then obviously we'll deplete down and down and down until show day. So we've only got about, what, 10, 12 days of training left. And then it's show time. So this is gonna give my metabolism that last final boost, last push to, uh, to burn the fat off and get shredded. You still need to cheat. We all want to cheat now and again. I'm definitely going to be cheating after this. I'm looking forward to doing some like cheat day videos and stuff like that as well. And food challenges, I'm going to do all sorts. So after this show, I'm going to have a lot more content as well. Different kind of stuff. Because a few people have asked me about cheat meals and all that kind of stuff. So yeah, I'm waffling on now. But there's my meal. Bam. Bit of sugar-free ketchup on there. My uh, salt, like I mentioned yesterday. And yeah, I'm gonna enjoy this meal and chill for a bit. So I'll see you in a bit. Man, so, like, see, see the carbs, just the carbs filling me out, man. Gets your skin all tight, right? There's no better feeling, yeah, when you low, been low carbs for time and then you start carving up. Cause you can, and you can feel it going through your body. Actually, there's a lot of better feelings, but it's a good feeling. But yeah, so I'm just getting some editing done to be fair. Um, I'm editing this video you're watching now. And then I did mention the other day that I've got a, uh, a little dark one. I don't know why it looks so dark now. But yeah, I uh, mentioned in yesterday's vlog that we filmed the arm session on Friday at Foundry Gym. So I'm editing that up as well. So that will be up midweek. So a lot of good content this week, man. I'm glad I got some good work done. If you've messaged me on Snapchat, on, on anything really, I'll get back to everyone at some point, even all the comments on YouTube. So I'm just going through my YouTube comments from yesterday's vlog. I must have not, not been doing well enough yet because I haven't, touch wood, touch wood, fuck man. I haven't had any horrible comments or hate or anything like that yet. One or two little comments, but nothing like, not even a dislike on the video. So obviously I ain't made it yet. <laughs> but um, nah, all the messages and supports. See, that says your shoulders are overpowering your arms. Wow. I say that in the video, that's what a big part of the video is about, but they're coming, man. Allow me, they're coming. Yeah. Uh, looking sick, man, gonna kill it. And where do you find your girlfriend, a rare breed, when she's just coming around filming you all day, respect to her. Yes, I'll take you and don't gas her up, bro, because she'll she'll get a big head. But uh, nah, uh, jokes aside, obviously you lot all know you see her, she's with me all the time and puts just as much work in that I do, so can't knock her at all, man. It is a lot, this whole bodybuilding thing, aside from the social media thing and the filming and all that, is a lot for someone to deal with, so. She probably get stuck in, and uh, yeah, man, I can't knock her. But yeah, just a load of load of positive, um, positive comments, man. Looking good, bro. You're gonna smash it. Shredded, looking good. Keep grinding, coming along nice, looking shredded. I appreciate it so much. Like, see, when I read these, it makes me want to make more videos and put it out there. Because obviously, some people are um, finding use from my videos. So, shout out to everyone that comments. Like I always say, comment, share, subscribe because I like the interaction. Do you know what I mean? So. When I say it, if, like, feel free to message me. I'll get back to everyone like when I can. It might not be straight away. Most of the time it is, but if not, I'll get back to everyone straight away. So, yeah, man, appreciate everyone's support. Hopefully, third time lucky, I can win this comp and then, we, you know, we can have that first place trophy together. Session this morning. Gonna go out for food later. And uh, then it's Monday morning, back to work. I'm back to the grind, two weeks out. So, I'm gonna edit this up and I'll catch you like in a bit. Bam. <laughs> See what I mean? Being bam. Yeah, so I've just been editing up the, today's video, part two of the one you're watching right now. And uh, as always, I'll get Katie to proof watch it. Let me know what she thinks. But yeah, so getting another meal in, exact same thing, carving up, feeling good. <sighs> Get yeah, me. Watch this now, then stop yeah, sorry. Like but yeah, um, catch you later. Key, key Nando's, yeah. <laughs> oh, 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 wait, wait, wait. Oh, 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 wait, wait.
Yes, so last meal of the day, Nando's. Um, obviously, because we can't go out, we can't eat, we can't really drink, you can't go out for a drink or anything like that. Before, because it's my refeed, we'll make the most of it, come out, Nando's, play it safe for the just chicken and fucking sweet potatoes still in it, but still nice to get out. So we're just waiting for our food. And then we're gonna go for a walk, finish my cardio off, but I'll show you what I'm eating when it gets here. So, this is what I'm having. Sweet potato wedges and chicken fries. I was gonna have a breast, but I thought, fuck it, I'm gonna have the fries. But uh, normally, obviously, it would be chips, garlic bread, double chips, garlic bread, and fries, but briefly, gotta be clean as possible. So this is what I'm having for today, my last meal of the day. And then we're gonna go hit cardio after. So I wanna enjoy this and I'll catch you in a bit. Mmm, mine looks nice though. Fire. So mine is all sweet potato now. So instead of going back home on the bike, we come straight up to uh, another cardio location. Just banging out my 40 minutes cardio, getting a good pace on and just uh, walking off this food, man. Like I said, I've what, that's two and a half kilos of sweet potato I banged today and he, he's blowing it out. But, refeed day, so it's definitely worth it. Refeed day's gone well, and I can tell it's working because literally, after every meal, like, I'll start going, breaking out into a heat, like, my body temperature just rises up, and what that is, is my metabolism just dealing with all the calories. So that's a sign that your refeed is working in the sense of your body's reacting to the change of calories. Two weeks out, two weeks out episodes. Hope you enjoy them. Um, we're nearly there, man. What, like I said, about 12 days more training. Um, and it's gonna be showtime pretty much. So hopefully you enjoy the journey. I've got loads of messages this weekend from the videos of Pop, so shout out everyone. Support's been sick as always. And yeah, like, share, comment, subscribe, you already know. And we'll see you on the next episode. We're out. Are you ready?